Special right triangles is our topic today. Who wants to read for us what it says here? How about, uh, yes, Noah, go ahead. An isosceles right triangle is also called a 45, 45, 90 degree triangle because the measures of the angles are 45, 45, 90. Okay, does it have to be 45, 45, 90 if you have an isosceles right triangle? The yeah. answer is yes, it does. Yeah. And so our first special right triangle, uh, we actually have a theorem for this right triangle. Okay, an oh. isosceles. Yeah, it's called, it's got a name. Yes. Don't, we, don't we like the ones with names? Yeah. Okay, yeah. question. No, no, no. So from the theorem. So uh, what this theorem tells you is, it tells you something about this 45, 45, 90 degrees right triangle in terms of its length. Um, so it turns out, in 45, 45, 90 degrees triangle, the hypotenuse is square root of two times as long as legs. What does that mean? Take a look at this picture. Okay. If you have the two legs that are congruent, because you have an isosceles triangle, if these two legs are uh, A, guess what the hypotenuse is? The length of the hypotenuse is? A times, not two. Square root of 2, okay? That's what he's saying. Go ahead, write it down. I'll wait for you. So how would you go about proving this? How about uh, William? How would you know this relationship? If you have a 45, 45, 90 degrees triangle, why is the hypotenuse always going to be square root of 2 times the length of that one of the legs? Of course, they're both same. Any idea? Yeah, William, let me give you a hint. Why don't you read this for us? Okay, any idea? How would you go for, how would you know this? <laughs> yeah, I used to put Pythagorean theorem. Okay, so here we go. So let's say we have this right triangle right here. You see, it's 45, 45, 90 degrees, and there's C. Yeah, right there, okay? So here's C, okay? Uh, and you got A and A. So Chris, what would you, what would you do? Yeah, A squared plus A squared should equal to C squared in this case, right? Using the Pythagorean theorem, we have 45, 45, 90 degrees triangle, right? Which means the two sides must be congruent, right? Does that make sense? So therefore, you could solve for C. And so, question? It's like question? Yeah. Oh, what's your question? Yeah, it's Okay, how many people could answer that question? Is C greater than A? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, why so? How about, uh, why is C greater than, Eric, why would C be greater than A? Um. <coughs> because the hypotenuse. Yeah, it's the hypotenuse, right? What well, do you know about the side of a triangle that's opposite of the greatest angle, right? It's the yeah, that's the largest. I mean, if this is 90, the other two must be less than 90. We know what they are exactly. It's 45 and 45. Does that answer your question? Any other question? So then, how do we solve for C? How about, what do we do here? Chris, again? <laughs> you got picked again. So, what do we do? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, 2 A, exactly. 2 A squares equal to C squared. And of course, yeah, you square root both sides. When you square root both sides, guys, don't, you, don't we need plus or minus? But can the length be negative? No. no. Okay, so because we're saying that C has uh, got to be some length. It's got to be what? Square root of 2 times, a square root of A squared, which is simply a. plus or minus. Well, okay, we'll just keep it there. But it's going to be uh, A rad 2. That's the best way to write. How come we don't write it the other way? Rad 2 A. Wait, wait, hold on. Wait, okay. Is this wrong, first of all? Raise your hand if you think this is wrong way to write. Uh, it's not really wrong. It's just that uh, it's not a good way to write this. I'm asking one person right now. Uh, Andrea, what do you think? Why wouldn't I want to write it this way rather than... Yeah, so some people might think that it might go too far like this, right? If you're going to write it this way, you should do it this way. But, you know, normally we just... To get rid of that confusion, we write that uh, number first and then the square root. So there we go. It proves it. Any question on this theorem? Pretty straightforward. Red because the hypotenuse is C, is leg is A. Okay. A times the
knowing this, let's do some examples. Okay, here we go. So take a look at example one. Uh, of course, we could use. Oh wait, we can't really use Pythagorean theorem, can we? No, no. Uh, yes, we can. Yeah, we can. Yeah, because we know this is twelve. This is twelve. This is x, right? Because it's oh. 45, 45, 90. But, oh. but knowing the theorem, could we? Should we use that? Which one's easier, using the theorem or the uh, Pythagorean theorem? Using the Pythagorean theorem is easier? Yes. Yeah, we just know that both of these right triangles are 45, 45, 90. Right? So let's do A together. To find X, all you have to do is, rather than doing 12 squared plus 12 squared equals to X squared, all I need, I could get the right answer right away. What is the answer? How about uh, using the, Emily, what would the answer be? What's X? Um, 12 by 2. Yeah, 12 by 2, because we just said, Right? If you have 45, 45, 90 degrees triangle, the hypotenuse is square root of 2 times one of the legs. The, right? The legs are all the same. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yes? yes? Okay, try B. Everybody try. I'll wait. <laughs> so for the first one, we had the answer just multiply. Hypotenuse, we know it's. Uh, thank you. Hypotenuse is. Uh, square root of 2 times leg. Now, this time, it's a little bit different. A, they give you the length of the leg, right? B, they don't. So, but do we use the same formula? Yeah. Okay, so who can tell me the formula for this? How about, okay, so we're going to start with this again. How about uh, June? What would you write as a form, uh, equation? What equation would you use? Yeah, exactly. Just plug it in. What's the hypotenuse here? 8 equals 2 square root of times. What's the leg? X. Do we know how to solve this simple equation? How do we solve this simple equation? Uh, divide both sides by a class? Rad 2. Rad 2. Can I leave it this way? No. Can I leave it as 8? Oh, yeah, you have to rationalize. Thank you. You, sh you have to rationalize the denominator. You may not leave the denominator with square roots on them, right? You cannot have uh, rash irrational numbers on the denominator. So how would you do that? Multiply red, uh, no numerator and the denominator by? Rad, rad 2. And so you get 8 rad 2 over? Two, we're done, right? No, no we gotta simplify. You get four. That's how. Yeah, isn't this eight over two times rad two over one? Yeah. So you get eight, uh, four rad two. Any question on this? Okay. So there are two special type of uh, right triangles we're gonna talk about today. We just talked about one of them. What was one of them? Forty-five, forty-five, ninety degrees theorem, right? What does it say? It says hypotenuse of forty-five, forty-five, ninety degrees triangle is equal to square root of two times the leg. Easy enough? All right. The next uh, triangle is called 30, 60, 90 theorem. Anybody want to guess what kind of triangles you get? How about uh, Nor? What kind of triangles do you think this would describe if you have 30, 60, 90 theorem? Uh, it would describe a triangle with 30 degrees, 60 degrees, 90. Exactly. That's what it is. Okay. So let's move on here. Let me show you. Here we go. Uh, so 30, 60, 90 theorem. So do you think it's going to tell you something about the size of this 30, 60, yes. 90? So it's going to give you basically the ratio. It's sort of a ratio, isn't it? 45, 45, 90 is 8 to 8 to 8 rad 2. Isn't that right? What? Isn't that what you have? Yeah. Any question? So let me show you what this theorem says. Show you the, what kind of ratio it has. In 30, 60, 90 degrees triangle, the hypotenuse is twice as long as the shorter leg. By the way, would you have shorter leg in this 30, 60, 90 degree yeah. triangle? Yeah. Which one would be the shorter leg? Yeah. The side opposite of? 30. The side opposite of which angle? 30, 30 degrees, yes. Uh, so the hypotenuse is twice uh, as long as the shorter leg. And the longer leg is uh, square root of three times as long as the shorter leg. So if you know the shorter leg, it's easy, right? Just multiply two for the hypotenuse and multiply rad three for the longer leg, right? So here's the picture. Don't worry about how to prove it yet, but just look at what the picture shows you. Okay, go ahead and write it down. I'll wait for you. To prove this theorem, to show you why, for example, you got triangle ABC. Do you think we're going to uh, use these auxiliary lines? How, how do you think we're going to construct this triangle ABD then? If I have ABC, that's 30, 60, 90. Uh, anybody, want to, anybody see how they did this? How about uh, trees? Yeah, they basically drew the one that's exactly like on the other side. So 
build on ABC, uh, we're going to draw ADC that is congruent to, you see that ADC right here? Those two triangles are congruent. Okay. Um, so what kind of triangle is this? If you have, this is 60 degrees, get, guess what the angle measure of D is then? 60, because those are the corresponding right, vertices. What about angle B, A, D, the whole thing? If this is 30, guess what this is? Yeah, so 60, 60, 60. All, what do you know about? Yeah, what do you know about all angles, all 60? It's an equilateral triangle. What do you know about equilateral triangle? All sides are? Congruent. Congruent. So look at what we have here. Isn't A, B twice of than A? Because, right, it's, just, it's kind of easy to see why. The hypotenuse is twice of the leg once you draw, right, a congruent triangle on the right side of it, right? Then you could see easily that uh, C is twice of A, right, guys? Okay, but well then the more interesting part is then how do you know that uh, the longer leg, which is what's the longer leg? AC. How do you know that then the longer leg is rad three uh, times the shorter leg? How would you figure this out? Anybody have, have any idea? Chris, a picture again. <laughs> no, I'm not kidding. Here, this is Chris. So, so we know that C is going to be twice of A, right? How would you know then the B is A times rad three, or rad three times A? Is there a way to figure this out? Let me give you a hint. We know that C is two A, right? We know this is A, so this is the one, only one that we don't know. What can we use to figure out the length of B? Use D? Yeah, use the Pythagorean theorem. Because we know this is A. C is what again, guys? 2A. Guess what B is? Figure it out. Go ahead. Everybody try. I'll wait. Use the Pythagorean theorem. So let's do this together. All right, so we know from here, we know if this is A, we just said this right here, AB is? 2A, well CA, which is 2A, right? So all we need to do is now figure out what this B is, right? Good, all right, good, good. Okay, good, a lot of you. So let me ask somebody, okay, a lot of you did, okay, let me see. Uh, Darius, yeah, what, what, what equation would you use to find the length of B? Oops. 2A, oops, sorry. 2A in parentheses squared, yes. Um, a squared plus B squared equals to A squared plus B squared is exactly right. We could do this because there are only two variables. We know how to solve for B now, mm -hmm. right? So what is 2A squared? No, no one wrote 2A squared, did you? No. What is it? 4A squared, isn't it? Square. Equals to A squared square plus, plus B squared. Square. What are we going to do to both sides? Subtract? So you get 3a squared is equal to? B squared. What are you getting to the both sides? Now, whenever you square root, you got to put plus or minus, but do we need the negative part? Because it's a length. B is a length. It can't be negative. So therefore, B is equal to rad 3 times square root of a squared, which is simply? A yeah. yeah, rad 3. Okay. So just like the previous one, right, 45, 45, 90, right, for finding B, you can use... Uh, the uh, Pythagorean theorem there. But you see how the trick is to draw that uh, congruent triangle on the right and you get an you get an, uh, uh, equilateral triangle, right? So it's really easy to see that the C is what? Two of these A, right? Because you got A, A because it's an equilateral triangle, mm -hmm. all the length are the same. So any question on this theorem? Okay, let's do some example, yes? Okay, all right. Let's do A here together. And then we'll do, I'll let you do B by yourself. So you got a 60, uh, 30, 60, 90 degree triangle. Uh, they ask you to find X and Y. Which one should I find first? Yeah, yeah because they give you that uh, shortest. So this is the easiest case. If they give you the shortest side of the 60, 90, 30, 60, 90 triangle, then it's the easiest case. Are they going to always give you the shortest side? No. no. So you got to come up with an equation, right? But for this, you should all be able to do this without much problem. How about uh, Andrea then? What is going to be x? 12. 12. How many people agree? Raise your hand. Very good. It is going to be 12 because we just said from the previous theorem, hypotenuse is twice the shorter leg. Uh, then what about Eugene? What would you say for uh, y? Y, uh, 
equation? Well, not just the equation, but what will be the um? Yeah, sure, equation. What do you know about Eugene? The longer leg in this is going to be the length of the longer leg is what? Uh, a times three Yeah. So it's going to be rat three times the shorter leg. Isn't that the longer leg? So Eugene, what's the answer? I didn't get No, just you could see what the shorter leg is. What's the shorter leg? Length of the shorter leg is six. So what's the longer leg? Six rat three. Any question? Easy enough, guys? Okay, now let me make it a little bit more interesting. Try this yourself. Go ahead, everybody try this now. I'll wait. Try B, okay? Uh, for the uh, longer leg, we know from the previous theorem is rad 3 times shorter leg. By the way, which one of these are the shorter leg? 8, Y, or X? How many people say it's 8? Raise your hand. How many people say it's Y? Is it X? So you plug it in. How many people wrote down 8 equals to rad 3 times X? Do we know how to find... Well, same thing. Do we know how to find x by itself? Divide yeah. both sides by? Rat three. Can I leave it this way? No, you cannot. So you have to, thank you, you have to multiply top and bottom by rat 3. Therefore, how many people got the answer? 8 rat 3 over 3? Easy enough? Do you see how they're not always going to give you the short leg, the length of the short leg? If they don't, you just use the formula, right? What about for the hypotenuse? Well, that's the easier part. If you know that the longer leg is this, I mean, shorter leg is x, hypotenuse has to be what? 16. 2 times, so therefore 2 times, we found x, which is 8 rad 3 over 3, isn't it 16 rad 3 over 3? Because 2 is really 2 over 1, because we found the shorter leg, right? Just multiply that by 2, right? So the hypotenuse is always easy, just multiply that by 2 with the shorter leg. Any question? Can you do something like this for your homework tonight? Yes! Good.